God bless you. You're about to listen to the voice of the eagle with Prophet Samuel Addison. Prophet Samuel Addison is an anointed servant by the will of God and is graced to operate in the fivefold ministry. As you listen to this tape, be ready to be caught up into unlimited levels of the spirit and soar unto greater heights. Enjoy the message. There shall come forth a rod. There shall come forth a rod from the stem of Jesse. Stem of Jesse, and a branch. A branch shall grow out of his root. Grow out of his roots. The spirit of the Lord. Now write it. The spirit of the Lord. Shall do. Shall rest upon him. On the spirit of the Lord. That's the first one. Shall rest upon him. Two. The spirit of wisdom. The spirit of wisdom. And understanding. Three, understanding. Four. The spirit of counsel. counsel five. And mind. Six. The spirit of knowledge. Seven. And of the fear of the Lord. These are, now, these are the major, read the verse one again. There shall come forth a rod from the stem now, of Jesse. There shall come out that rod out of Jesse and the branch. He's talking about Jesus. So it means when Jesus came, he walked in this seven spirit. He operated in this seven spirit. Which means anybody born of God must yes. operate in this seven spirit. Yes. This seven spirit is a major requirement. Everybody born of God must operate in the seven spirit. You must desire to walk in the seven spirit. He must operate in the seven spirit. If the Holy Ghost is in you, all the seven we just read must operate in you. Everything about God is seven. Zechariah 3, verse 9. Let's learn some. Everything about God is seven. Seven spirits, seven eyes, seven candlesticks, seven churches. So he came to operate in the seven spirit means the perfection. Look at it. For behold, behold, the stone that I have laid before Joshua, I've laid before Joshua upon the upon stone, the stone seven, seven eyes. eyes. Behold, uh-huh. I will engrave its inscription, mm-hmm. says the Lord of hosts, mm-hmm. and I will remove the iniquity Stop that the, the land Revelation chapter 4, verse 4 and 5. Seven eyes. Everything about God is seven. So don't just go to church. Make sure you operate in the seven spirit. What is it? Around the throne. Around the throne. Were 24 thrones. 24 thrones. And on the thrones, uh-huh. I saw 24 elders 24 clothed, uh-huh. clothed in white robes. Uh-huh. And, and they had crowned of gold on their heads. Mm-hmm. Verse 5. And from the throne proceeded lightning, lightning thundering, thundering, and voices. voices. Seven, lamps, seven of fire lamps of fire were burning, were before, burning before the, the throne, throne, which are the seven, seven spirits of God. of God. So you see, everything about God's throne is seven. Now, the Bible says in Psalm 1, verse 4 and 5, Revelation 4, 1, 4 and 5. So Jesus came to operate in that seven spirit of God. And that seven spirit is just what we read from the book of Isaiah. What is that? Please read for me. John, to the seven churches. John, look at it. So everything about God is seven. So John, to the seven churches, which are in Asia, which are in Asia, grace to you, grace to you, and peace from him uh-huh. who is and who was uh-huh. and who is to come. Uh-huh. 
and from the seven spirits from the seven spirits who are before his throne so before the throne of god seven spirits everything about god is seven so this morning morning let's learn about the seven dimension of the spirit the seven spirits one isaiah 11 verse 2 let's go back Let's go back. The spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. The first one we talk about, I call it the spirit of lordship. The spirit of lordship. That is the spirit of the Lord shall rest. The spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. And that one is called the spirit of lordship. The spirit of lordship is the impartation of dominion and authority. Now, what I'm preaching is not for Sunday school. I'm not giving you milk. I'm giving you solid food. It's not for people who are one day born again, two, two months. I'm speaking to mature believers. Who want to become something in the kingdom? So the message I'm giving you is a tough message. It's a spirit, is an impartation of dominion and authority. At the spirit of lordship is a spirit that puts you in charge in life. It's a spirit of rulership. It's a spirit that helps you to take territories. It's a spirit that makes you a master. Which means if you operate in that spirit, anywhere you find yourself, you take charge. You don't see yourself as a nobody. You see yourself as a ruler. You see yourself, what is it? The spirit of the Lord. This one, it means the spirit of lordship. The spirit of the Lord is upon is me, upon me so because right. he has anointed because me. Because he has anointed me so to, pre- me to preach the gospel. So, Stop there. so the spirit of lordship came upon Jesus before he started ministry. That spirit released the impartation of dominion and authority. So the first spirit of God is the spirit of lordship. And you and I must operate in that spirit. We must walk in dominion. And walk in authority. Because we don't walk in that spirit. We behave fearful. We, we, we are very timid. Because the spirit of the Lord it's not upon us. We must operate in that spirit. Anywhere believers find ourselves, we, we must take charge. You must take charge. You must take territory. You can only do that if you operate in that spirit. After that, Isaiah 11 verse 2, what the next one is the spirit of what? Is the spirit of, of wisdom. wisdom. Wisdom, write it down. Wisdom is a spirit. Wisdom is a spirit. Wisdom prolongs life. And foolishness cuts life short. Wisdom prolongs life. Deuteronomy 20, 34, verse 9. We must, wisdom is not given by your teacher. 
Wisdom is not given by your lecturer. Wisdom is not given by the books you have read. Wisdom is a spirit. So if you're a doctor, if you're a lawyer, that's not me you have wisdom. So you're a doctor, and so you're a doctor. Have you seen doctors smoking before? Oh, doctor, or born tampeda. Have you seen lawyers who can get drunk and no. make it themselves? Lawyer, ni no abruzi esra, no abon huwa deja unhu bida. So with all their books, tiwa mungu ma umakin kenya. Where is the wisdom? Nyansa ne wahefa. So it's not what you are giving the classroom. Enye di ede ma o bebi esu ya diu. School informs, but God transforms. So uko school o nyanti ye. Now Joshua, the son of Nan, was full of the spirit of wisdom. Put a screen from Deuteronomy. Be fast, be fast. Now Joshua, the son of Nun, was now Joshua, the son of Nun, was full, was full of, of the spirit of wisdom. Now, it, the Bible did not say he was full of wisdom. He was full of the spirit of wisdom. Okay, wisdom yes. is a spirit. And yes, every yes. Christian must walk in that spirit. Yes, of it's a spirit. And yes, Jesus yes. came and he walked in wisdom. And Joshua, the son of Nun, yes, was yes. full of wisdom. For Moses, yes, Moses had laid hands on him. Yes, Let's go to the book of Numbers. Exodus 28, verse 3. So you shall speak to all so who you are shall gifted, speak to all who are gifted artisans uh-huh. whom I have filled with the spirit I of wisdom. I have filled with the spirit of wisdom. That they may you know when we are building this the architect that gave the first design we did a design. This puppet was here. There was some office here. So I brought one after I brought Bishop Salifu here in the afternoon. Who is now Archbishop. When we entered here in the afternoon, he stood on the compound. And he came here. He said there's a mistake here. The public cannot be here. They must push it backwards. Let's remove the office. Why? God has given him the architect has knowledge. The architect has skill. Oh, but the man no, no. applied wisdom yes, so and so. moved the thing backwards. Spirit of wisdom. Oh, he oh, said, yes, I have yes. given those artisans the spirit of wisdom and they will help you to do something. No, 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 no. So wisdom is a spirit. Yes, no, no. Wisdom, let's learn some few things here. Yes, no, no, no. Wisdom prolongs life. Yes, no. But foolishness cut life short. Wisdom is the secret of distinction. Wisdom sponsors exploit. And mighty works in the kingdom. Behind all exploits and mighty works in the kingdom, wisdom is behind. Wisdom gives you understanding and results in life. Wisdom is better than the weapons of war. Wisdom is behind the making of great men. Wisdom is a principal thing. Behind the making of principal is, a, is a wisdom. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 7. 
Proverbs 4, verse 7. Proverbs 4, verse 7. Wisdom is the principal thing. Wisdom is a principal thing. Therefore, get Therefore, wisdom. Therefore, get wisdom. And in all so, you are so getting. Wisdom makes you a principal. Wisdom makes you a principal. Jesus was an embodiment of wisdom. I pray that from today you will walk in the realm of wisdom. If you don't know the book of the preacher, chapter 7, verse 17, he said, Wisdom is a defense. Men of wisdom are men that carry defense. Men of wisdom talk less and they think deep. I heard a man speaking on a saying, I don't know the man, but before they start. One man speaks. He said, Ghana or Africa, we pay people for talking, not for thinking. That word, I love that word. We pay people for talking. Foolish talk, we pay. Not for thinkers. Men of wisdom are not talkatives. It's a spirit. That God gives you. Anybody who is a talkative has no future. Because you will say things you shouldn't say. And that place you've been through. So spirit of wisdom is very important. It's a wisdom is a defense. Wisdom is a defense. Wisdom is a defense. May the Lord grant us the spirit of wisdom. We are not saying amen. I say, may God grant us the spirit of wisdom. The third spirit is a spirit of understanding. Let's, let's go back to Isaiah. Please, let's go back. Let me finish the wisdom. Please, let me finish. Let me finish. Three ways that wisdom can be channeled. One, wisdom grants you men of wisdom and men of vision. In fact, anytime God Gives you vision. He grants you the wisdom to no. accomplish the so vision. So men of wisdom are men of vision. People of vision are people of wisdom. People of vision are people of wisdom. People of purpose are people of wisdom. Aimless people are not wise. And people without vision are not wise. You are behaving anyhow because you are not wise. Because it's not there. Men of vision are men who are wise. Men of wisdom. Any body that God gives you wisdom or gives you vision, he grants you wisdom to accomplish the vision. Second, men of vision are men who knows how to associate association. Because not everybody you can work with to accomplish your goal. So because you are wise, you don't work with everybody. Everybody soon you go and watch TV. And you'll be out of them now, Rahon or TV. Because you're wise. It's answer with the answer. No, everybody place you go, you ask for more. And never be beer and have a coat, no, be beer and chicken wings. Huh? 
Hello. Hi. For verse chapter 13, verse 20. Your association affects your wisdom. Your friends shows how wise you are. Make quality friendship. Most of you, if you know where you are going, you will offer a lot of people in your life. Your wisdom brings association. Don't let your friends choose you. Choose your friends. Because you know where you are going. Christians must walk in the spirit of wisdom. Most of you, is your friend. La Paz, you have a friend. La Paz, you have a friend. You have a friend, you have a friend everywhere. You enter everyone's room. It's no wisdom. It's no wisdom. So men of wisdom, read for me. He, he who walks, walks with wise men will be wise. But a companion of fools will be destroyed. So Christians must walk. Walk in wisdom. Last one. Wisdom brings impartation. Wisdom brings impartation. So wisdom can be transferred. If wisdom can be transferred, then foolishness can be transferred. Most of you, Jimmy, or Adam for instance, who's who Jimmy be? Who's that Jimmy sir? And because of the one you are working with, who's who? Yes, I could say. Yes, I could say. So we look at that. There are some guys around Taifa who are staying with us over here. Who could feel? Oh, we need to cast the same cast. Jimmy cast. Oh, we need Jimmy back. If Moses lay hands on Joshua, Joshua so, and wisdom was transferred, then foolishness can be transferred. If impartation, impartation is a transfer of spirit. So if Moses lay hands on Joshua, Joshua and something from him entered into him, him, that's wisdom, and and somebody, association can break impartation of foolishness. And Are men of vision. A man who knows how to associate. A man who knows how to walk because it will bring impartation will come. So the third one, the spirit of understanding. Please, am I disturbing you? No, sir. Are you enjoying the word? Yes, sir. So the third spirit must walk in it. Understanding. Understanding is the spirit. Acts chapter 8, verse 26 coming down. But read this one first. Job 32, verse 8. Understanding is a spirit. Most of you, no matter how I preach, you don't understand. No matter how I would do illustrations, I would do illustrations. You look at me, uh, and the words are coming. Then You don't hear anything. So you've been in the church for twenty years. Your life is not 
life is the same. Oh, but because you know, it because it is the understanding it's, that makes you outstanding. There is a spirit in man. What is that spirit? That <laughs> spirit <laughs> in man is the Holy Spirit, not <laughs> your father's spirit. <laughs> your father don't have a spirit. <laughs> But there is a spirit in man. That spirit is the Holy Ghost. And the bread of the Almighty that gives him understanding. Without the spirit in you, so he's trying to tell us that we need the spirit in us. So that we will understand the things of God. Whatever you do in the house of God, if you don't understand, you will not do it well. That's a fact. Whatever you are doing for God, if you don't understand, it, you won't do it well. It is the understanding. Of what you are doing. So, so Acts chapter you know. eight, verse twenty-six. Read for me. Acts eight twenty-six. Now an angel of the Lord spoke to Philip, saying, "An angel spoke to Philip, saying, Arise and Arise go towards, and go towards south, the south, along, along the road, the road uh-huh. which goes down from Jerusalem to uh-huh. Gaza. Uh-huh. This is the desert. So he arose and went, he and went. behold." A man of Ethiopia, Ethiopia. a eunuch, An eunuch of great authority, great authority like, and like, 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 like a minister, like a governor. Man of influence. What happened? And the Candace, uh-huh. the queen of Ethiopia, he pulled so high too much, uh-huh. who had charge of all her treasuries uh-huh. and had come to Jer- Jerusalem to worship. In those times, there's only one place they go and worship. You will travel far. What happened? Was returning, was returning and sitting in and a sitting in a chariot. He was reading. He was reading Isaiah, Isaiah, the, prophet. Isaiah the prophet. And I believe what he was reading is there. He was reading Isaiah. Then the spirit, and said, the spirit to said to Philip, "Go near and, go and, overtake, near his and overtake his chariot." Thirty. So Philip, so ran, Philip to ran to him and heard him and reading heard him read the him. prophet Isaiah and said, "You know." The best way to read the Bible is to open your mouth. My power to me, I can't. Oh, can't. Say, oh, can't. We be one off. We be one on our camp. If I'm in fasting and I enter the realm, a comedemia, may come on. If you go to Israel at the Wailing Wall, they read it. No can't. You just have no read to the wall. No more can't. I will buy no home. It's now all done because who's someone say, yeah, but we just first. That's person A. Especially to be not not much person. But you know But who be Musa? Chapter sixty. Arise, shine. Now what kind? A raw moon them. That's the way you read the Bible. You read it. You will be one. Who can kind? Who can kind? And that's all. Bese bese one. Who can kind? Mani pi. Alone in the room. Now what kind? Oh now can kind of Now can It's very powerful. To me, umpa. To me, Very powerful. To me, umpa. So he had him reading. Now they say, "Oh, can kind." And the Lord said, "Philip." And I Ask him a question. Busano. What is it? Do you, Do you understand what you are reading? Yeah, okay, can, what you are so it's not about reading, it's, it's about okay, understanding. Okay. So it's not about being a church, it's about understanding why you are in a church. It's not about even behind the camera, you must understand what you are doing. So you can do something that you don't understand. Everything we do in the house of God, we need the spirit of understanding. Otherwise, we can't do 
and that's why we are doing this by and the way. You are doing this with that understanding. If you write exams and you fail, not all the time you don't know the answer, but most of the time we didn't understand the question. When I was young, my a great teacher, every question she would say, you know the answer. But the way the woman would twist it, you but must think to get the answer. You, you make sure she will confuse you. You know the answer, but you write it. So it's understanding is a weapon. So you don't even understand your own life. Lacking the spirit of understanding. And he, and he said, verse 31, he said what? And he said, how, how can I, I unless someone guides me? Someone guides me. This will be That's why today I'm standing here to guide you. You're not clapping for that. That's why I'm here to guide you. To understand what you are doing. Then he said, and you will find the way. And you will find the way. If you understand it, you get the results. So if you are not doing it, you will Spirit of understanding is a faculty of reasoning and discernment. It helps your mental power to perceive. In fact, if I meet a woman who is not wise, I'm sad because what oh, problem? Because every woman was designed by God to be smart. Have, have, smartness is in every woman's DNA. Obadi, Obadi, right? We are born now. Only man's idea. I'm telling you. What can I say? Women were wired by God. They are, they are, they are descending by nature. If a woman sees evil on her tongues. Say, oh, free born in particular, we won't say we're evil because a eh, eh, that's how God got a woman. Son, I read a ball, my son, I read a ball, my so any woman who is a prophetess, hey, they are too sharp. So, baby, I know you did for Bano, no one, I'm part of the Indian room, but more than so much, you must have a blocking commission in some parts and be a blocking mu 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 signals no but mm. women must be more spiritual and more effective than men o se mo ye hun hun mu fo pa mo dance one as mo no na me chin mema ma i'm telling you me kure no ka kire no women spiritually hun hun mu no ma what god put in you you read him say won mu mu no check the bible she kire se binim it took a wise woman like Abigail to marry a foolish man like Nabel. But no man can marry a foolish woman. But a, fo a foolish, a wise woman can handle a foolish man. Obanyans are four years old. Nabema did in Chia with me as soon as you move. Nabema did in Chia, the old Timiso, Obanyans are full. I'm not preaching that today. And you're not going to have a seminary, a betrayal. So, women, activate your giftings. It's powerful. Move to me, pa, and Timaduma Chediano. Munke Yemu. Understanding is the mental power of reasoning discernment. Understanding makes you to become a mystery. So if you understand something and you are doing it, you become a mystery. Understanding gives you answer to every question in life. Understanding gives you control over situation. Understanding. 
gives you control. Understanding is a spirit. Understanding also gives you insight into every situation. You can serve God well without the spirit of understanding. Isaiah 6 verse 9 if I'm right how can I be new come out my change I'm not sure about heart I'm not sure about heart Isaiah 6 verse 9 and he said and he said go go and tell this people tell this people keep on hearing keep on hearing but do not understand so so you saw people in the church they keep on hearing the message as I'm preaching they are hearing some words coming to them I don't understand like a teacher is teaching do you understand class? Yes, sir. Oh, boy. So I just said, So we are preaching. They are hearing the message. But they don't understand. And they keep on seeing. They don't perceive. So understanding. Release you to a place you have the mentality of perception. You come if you understand it, you can so perceive it. So what you see, I would be doing this is no dear today. The fourth one time, I'm bringing to the toss on nine. I'll be cutting the points down for all time. I'm bringing to you, which you check it out. It's okay. What's the next one? The spirit of what? The spirit of what? What's the wisdom? Ah, find me the wisdom one. The spirit of cancer. Let's write this one down. The spirit of cancer helps you to make quality decisions. The spirit itself in you will cancel you. Two. The spirit of counsel put you in the realm of command. Three, you are never confused in life. Why should you lie down as a young lady? Uh, you don't know the man to choose to marry. Before me in your life. You yourself, you are confused. It means your church will be confused. It means your church should 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 be confused. No confused person will make a correct choice. It's a fact. No confusement. Which work should I choose? Should I sell cocoa or sell rice or sell spirit of counsel? If it's in you, you are not confused. You are not confused. Second Samuel 16.23 Ahitophel, the guy was so deep, if he gives you counsel, so it's like somebody who have put it away for me. Now the advice, advice of, Ahitophel, of Ahitophel which he gave, he gave in those days was as if one had inquired at the oracle of God. Advice, deep counsel. Because the spirit of counsel was operating in Ahitophel. Be careful the one that counsels you. His counsel can either counsel your life. Or push your life forward. Be careful the people you go for counseling. Or they counsel you. Because counseling or counsel is a spiritual word. 
So we compare foot one as a two ko bi o two for hono. Like me. I sit you down in a half time for you. Say Papa say us what what I say now. I advice. No two for. You don't take it. Now I'm far. It's end of your life. And I will bring bono. I bring a way out. It's a gift in my life. My advice are very dynamic, very deep. Where I pick you from. So if I tell you, you pam, pam. sometimes it's some that. prophecy. But yeah, what I, I am telling you, you because, because I am an oracle, oracle the things I say, so I don't give advice anyhow. It's one two four. Be a be a be careful the people that you who are very dynamic, very deep. Be careful the people who sit you down and speak into your life. Be careful the people who sit you down and speak into your life. Be careful the people who Counsel is very deep. It's and you, you also need because not all the time people will be around you. So you need the spirit to help you to so make your choices. Yeah, so you need to make your choices. You need to make your choices. You to make your choices. You need to make your choices. You need to make your choices. You to You to to I wrote this one. Really, if you can tell me to write, any vision that cannot receive advice is in frustration in disguise. Which means any time God gives you a vision, somebody must advise you. Or yes. This building, a vision when it counsels. I'm somebody, I am open to major counsel. I don't do it on my own. No, no, no. I don't stand alone. Many people are standing with me. I'm not a one-man show. No! No! Oh, yes. I mean, people are with me speaking. Because anointing is not maturity. <laughs> God has blessed them with deep inside. Any vision that cannot receive advice is in frustration. Any venture with that advice will punch you. Any venture with that advice will have a punch on you. That's why I did. Yes. Proverbs 28, verse 26. God is the counselor. And his messengers have, have a true his messengers have a true counsel. So as I'm speaking, I'm giving a counsel. Yes, read for me. He who trusts in his own heart is a fool. But whoever works wisely, you, you need advice. You need counsel. He who works with wise, who works wisely, will be delivered. The fifth one time, fifth one or, or, or four. Fifth one is the spirit of might. To me, oh my, what to me? The spirit of mind is an impartation from God that empowers you to uh, fight your battles with ease without getting tired. If the spirit of might is in you, you don't get tired. Omre e wo bibiara wo ye hu. Omre. You don't get tired. Omre. Weariness and tiredness is so part of life. But the spirit in you is a spirit of mind. For the past few months, the work I have done here, if you, if you see you collapse, the work I have done, I yes. break down. If you see you collapse, people cry, ah, are you not tired? What does it mean? What does it mean is the spirit of mind. Might! Energy! The spirit of mind release vitality. Vitality. You, know, you need energy to fulfill your destiny. You are too weak. 
Judges chapter 14, verse 5. When the lion came against Samson, what are they? Tana to say Samson, so no. The spirit came upon him. Na home ne ba Samson so. And empowers him to fight. Ne se ne dey mane kon. Give me the image. Unya, I want to. Too weak. You are too weak. No, if you are weak, you give up easily. Se wo mera o pa abantem. You don't persevere. You don't press on. Un tu sani ni achena se o ni achire. So Samson went down to Timna. Oh, verse 6, they're speaking in the story. Nice. And the spirit of the Lord came mightily upon him. And he tore the lion apart. He came mightily. He gave him mm-hmm. mind to fight. The, the sixth one is the spirit of knowledge. Knowledge is an impartation or is a release of access to the inside information of God. Called the spiritual intelligence. That spirit of knowledge gives you inside information, deep information of God. I have inside information. I have inside that. I'm getting now I have inside information. You must have inside information from heaven. True knowledge. Now, that spirit of knowledge is not what you have to do books. So. Exodus 31 verse 1 to 5. 1 to 3. Then the Lord spoke to Moses saying, See, I have called by name Bezaliel, the son of Uriah, the son of Hur, of the tribe of Judah. And I have filled him with the spirit of God uh-huh. in wisdom, wisdom, in understanding, in, and knowledge, in knowledge, and in all manner of workmanship. Come to Daniel chapter 1, verse 2, 3, come down. So you need knowledge. You know, knowledge is one of the requirements. You need that spirit of knowledge for for you to be able to work in the house of God. And the Lord gave Jehoiakim. Verse 3, verse 3. Then the king instructed Ashpenaz, the master of his eunuchs, to bring some of the children of Israel mm-hmm. and some of the king's descendants and some of the nobles. Verse 4. Young man in whom young man in whom there was no, there blemish, is no blemish but good looking good looking gifted, gifted in all wisdom who possessed, in possessed knowledge and quick to understand who had ability to serve in the king's palace so knowledge is a requirement if you don't have knowledge, what is meant to bless you, you will destroy it. What say shira uno? Obe kaseti anasu we say no. Imdia. If you have no knowledge, so uni imdia. What is meant to bless you will kill you. Imdia. What say shira uno? Ebe kum. Have no knowledge. So uni imdia. The gun you have to shoot, you will shoot yourself. Tuwe kura wa wase udi etu ebo ubi anasa udi kum ubi fufrono. That's why if you buy anything from any white or the Africa, anything you buy, they add manual. It will help you to operate what you have bought well. Because you don't have knowledge, you will not operate in the house of God. Spirit of knowledge. So, Christians. That's why to be a Christian is not a title. It's a character and it's a reign. You are an embodiment of perfection because you carry the seven spirits of God operating. So anywhere you stand, you are an oracle. Or a person. You cannot fail. You can't fail. 
Are you if this is operating in you, you can't fail. The last one. The spirit of the fear of God. Now, if you are a believer in Christ, you are filled with the spirit of knowledge. And the fear of the Lord. Now, what is this? The fear of the Lord. Is an impartation of reverence and respect and value for the Almighty God. You see, whilst a man is preaching, Bra. somebody is on the phone watching cartoons. Bra. So for opinion, you know, when you make Kenya, me ask them no. No, be so at the phone. So whilst the man of God is preaching, releasing power, someone is on the phone chatting with somebody who doesn't even love you. Bra. I mean, the panel general when you make Kenya, me ask them no. No, be so to your tree. Where somebody is preaching, somebody is on the phone, and that person is watching, is reading news. You so be so a phone. You think they are reading Isaiah? But you say Isaiah no walking kind. So now at the phone floor, anyone here on the phone is so. No value, no respect for God. Am I ready? I love why he put that spirit on the last one because this fear of God is a career of all the spirits. People are If you fear God, you don't behave anyhow in the house of God. Like God occupies the valuable places in your life. You don't put God last. So it's an impartation of reference, respect, value. So we did it. And I said, "Oh, who sent it? A rade, a sumbo." These are the seven spirit of God, but there are three more I added. That me and Sebi will have a part on one and throw at the car. That is general thing. I'll just say it. I'll not read one. The spirit of excellence. So we are the Amai Huatie. The spirit of love. So Odo. And the spirit of faith. It's also part. It's a general thing that opens the life of every believer. But it's not part of the seven spirit. I beg you. I'm saying all this also must operate in your lives. But we we know Spirit of love must be there. believe you have been blessed by this message kindly contact us on telephone numbers plus two three three two four four six nine four two nine nine or zero two four seven six four one five zero two our email address is samprof nk at yahoo.com that is s-a-m-p-r-o-p-h-n-k at yahoo.com our facebook handle is www.facebook slash samuel addison twitter at Prof. Sam Addison or visit our website www.prophetsamueladdison.org Visit www.amazon.com to purchase these books by Prophet Samuel Addison. Keep the fire burning. Tell no one. Your secret is your power. Discovering the secret to the top. Why do you need power? Dealing with success killers and many more. You can also get copies of these books from any bookshop near you. God richly bless you. Oh,